Every 100,000 years or so, the essences of the Earth meet in a great council. Last time they met, it resulted in an ice age. Once again, the Earth is ticked off by how we've been treating it. And the only thing standing in the way of another extinction event is the political maneuvering and adventures of three kids. Earthlings, a novel by me. The book starts out with a classic example of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Out in the middle of one of the Great Lakes, a submerged island appears, and caught in a swell was a charter fishing boat. The boat's capsized by waves, and Edison, the bait boy and foster child of the captain, almost drowns. In an attempt to save his life, Ellie, a good-natured young girl on a trip with her family, tries to help Edison. But in doing so, she accidentally merges him with one of the Earth's essences, and inadvertently gives him the ability to control water. All of this is noticed by Twig, a nasty little root man who attempts to use Edison and Ellie as pawns to manipulate the vote of the Great Council. As the viciousness and politics take over, Ellie and Edison find themselves trying to defend humanity, running for their lives. From evil mind snake, soil beasts, clay creatures, and even Ellie's older sister, Vivi, pretty much takes the dangers of sibling rivalry to new heights. In an attempt to bring the world of Earthlings to life, I collected illustrations from 13 different artists. A bunch of professional comic book illustrators and some young new talent. If you're a fan of adventure, science fiction, coming of age stories, and some fun, then I hope Earthlings is for you. Earthlings, available in both print and digital.